Hey everyone, I talk Apple here. Long time no see. Today's video is going to take you through my process of cleaning up my iMac. It's like a spring cleaning type thing because it's not performing too great and I'll probably end up getting a new computer soon, but for now, to make it more usable, I'm going to do a fresh install, of course, back up my stuff, and then I'm going to reorganize all my files and all that. So yeah, I haven't used my iMac that much at all, and I want to, it's just too slow. So we're going to try to fix that today. Yay! Enjoy this um, process. I know it's not going to be too exciting, but um, hopefully it's helpful. Alright, so Joey's going to help me explain what you need before we begin this process. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is back up all my stuff because I'm going to be reinstalling the operating system. I'm doing a clean install, so you definitely need to have a backup. So make sure you have an external hard drive to back up all your stuff. The other thing you're going to need is um, the Mountain Lion installer, or yeah, I guess Mountain Lion installer, um, which if you're already running Mountain Lion, then you, when you re-download it, you won't have to pay like however much it was again. So you need that. And you also need a, uh, okay, you want to get down now? And you also need something to put uh, the operating system on once you've downloaded it. So like an eight gigabyte um, USB flash drive thing, or if you have another external hard drive, you know, something like that. And that's all you need to begin. So, um, to do, if you don't know how to do a backup um, on a Mac, uh, what you're going to want to do is open up System Preferences and uh, go into the Time Machine uh, Preference pane and make sure, well you don't necessarily have to have Time Machine on, but um, if you do have it on, you can check to see when your latest backup was. So mine was today at 7.07. Uh, that's perfect. Um, you can also manually back up your files uh, if you don't want to back up everything on your computer. You can just like drag and drop the folders and the apps that you want, but um, I think Time Machine is the best way to go. Now the next thing you, you need to do is open up the Mac App Store and download Mountain Lion. You can see it'll be it's most likely in the top paid section or there's a quick link right here. So as you can see it has the option to download instead of showing the price because I have downloaded it before on this computer so I don't have to pay for it again because that would suck. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. So while Mountain Lion is downloading, I'm going to download Lion Disk Maker. This builds an OS X boot disk for you. That way you don't have to go into disk utility and do it yourself, which is a little more complicated. Obviously it's possible, but why do that when this app does it all for you and it's free? It's really simple. Uh, so we're just going to download that. So Mountain Lion is finished downloading. You can see the installer here. We're not going to continue with this installer because we want to do a clean install. So plug in that flash drive. It has to be at least eight gigabytes um, in order for this to work with the app that we're using. So you can find your flash drive by opening up a finder window and then under the devices uh, section, it should have the name of the flash drive right there or hard drive, whatever you're using. And definitely make sure it's a flash drive with nothing on it or stuff on it that you do not need at all because the app that we're using is going to delete everything on that drive. So um, be careful with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and launch Lion Disk Maker. And as you can see, it asks you what version of Mac OS X you want to make a boot disk of. We want to do Mountain Lion. So I found the copy of Mountain Lion that we just downloaded in my Applications folder. We're going to use this copy. And it asks you what kind of disk you're using. And then it asks you what disk you want to erase. And then once you choose that disk, it warns you. It Just like I told you guys, uh, it's going to delete everything. And that's all you have to do. This is what it looks like when the app's, you know, copying the operating system. Uh, it doesn't take too long. Once the operating system has been copied to your flash drive, we're going to open up System Preferences and make that boot disk our startup disk. So in System Preferences, click on Startup Disk, uh, that preference pane, and we're just going to select the system we want to use to start up the computer. Make sure you select the Mountain Lion disk that you just created. Then we're going to click Restart, and your computer is going to restart. 
So as you can see, it booted up and we're gonna go to disk utility. So now we're gonna completely erase your internal hard drive. So find the hard drive. You can see mine's name 640.14 gigabyte because that's how much space it has. And then you're gonna find the mounted drive. So in my case, it's Macintosh HD. It'll be right underneath the main one. And then in here, we're gonna click erase and then make sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled, and then name Macintosh HD, and then we're gonna click Erase. It's gonna ask you to confirm, and then, as you can see, it's erasing. Okay, now we're gonna quit out of Disk Utility, and you'll see it goes back to the main screen, and what we're gonna do is reinstall OS X. Now you can restore from the time machine backup that you made if you want to, but I want to start from scratch and manually drag my files back over um, because I have a lot of like unnecessary junk on, or I had a lot of unnecessary stuff on my computer already, so I want to start fresh. So we'll hit continue, and now we're back to the um, regular install installer, and we'll just go through this as we normally would. asks you where you want to install, obviously you're going to choose your main hard drive. And here we go. So from here on out, it's just like when you get a new Mac and you're setting it up. You just have to wait for the installer to finish up and then it just asks you to like put in your information and all that. As you can see, my iMac looks like a new iMac, a brand new iMac. It's Cool. So there you have it. Um, making a bootable disk of Mount Mine and doing a clean install is really simple. Um, I recommend actually making a bootable disk with a flash drive um, whenever you download uh, the newest version of um, OS X because that way you have it for the future in case you want to do a clean install or if you want to install the operating system on other Macs without downloading the operating system each time. So it saves time. And yeah, so that's it for this first part of the video. I'm going to have another first part of the video. I'm going to have like a separate video on now um, cleaning up my folders and files, organizing, down downloading the apps that I like. So I'll be recommending some apps, um, organizing like my desktop wallpapers, stuff like that, system preferences. So basic stuff. And this is useful stuff for like when you get a new Mac too. So um, yeah, check out that video. I'll have an annotation here. I didn't want to make it one video because... I didn't want to make it too long, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you should follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash italkapple, and I also have a Tumblr, italkapple.tumblr.com, and I post on Twitter, I tweet a lot, and then on Tumblr, I post a lot of, like, non-tech stuff, so if you're interested in, like, getting to know what I like besides tech stuff, then you should follow me there. Yeah. Um, like I said, thanks for watching this video, and have a nice day.